If you Google weight loss, you will get 3 billion results in less than 0.1 seconds. Most of these results will be marketed as crash diets, fad diets, weight loss pills, detox teas, workout routines, and magic shakes. 73% of the United States is overweight. If all that you needed was a meal plan and a workout, eight out of 10 people, because you can't have 0.3 of a person, wouldn't be overweight. I want you to know that nothing that we talk about here today is an overhyped weight loss gimmick or extreme workout routine. And it definitely does not require you to starve yourself. Gotta get that part out of the way because I believe that it's important. And I also believe that you are here for an important reason. If you are still here as an on this page today, it's probably because you are interested in how much better you will feel, the confidence you will gain, or the inches you will lose in learning to drop 10% of your body weight or more in only 16 weeks. Like Sam here, who was 250 pounds when we started working together. He followed the limitless blueprint and lost 73 pounds and nine inches off his waist, gained back 27 pounds of muscle, quit drinking, fixed his marriage, and got a major promotion to vice president of sales in a new department created specifically for him, implementing what I taught him, structuring his life for maximum results. Results like these are the reason why I don't take this training lightly, even though you'll be lighter, because what we are going to be talking about truly changes lives, but goes against a lot of what you hear or is marketed across the fitness industry. The reason why is because their focus is on selling products and not on the overall well-being of people like Sam. This training is best for anyone that has a desire to knock a few notches off your belt or inches off your waistline. Feel better looking at yourself in the mirror, not being embarrassed to take your shirt off when you're at the beach, guys, or ladies, to feel more confident when you're in a bikini. Or maybe you're telling yourself the reason you keep your old clothes in the closet is because one day you will be able to wear them again. That day is today. You may have tried intermittent fasting, keto, 21 day fix, whole 30, vegetarian, vegan, or the occasional trip to the gym just to do cardio. You're probably already thinking that because none of that has worked for you, nothing will. But I can't be the one to tell you that this is different and is the one thing that will work for you. You have to allow yourself to discover how quickly and effortlessly you can actually lose weight with this blueprint. And I want you to make a commitment, not just to me, but to yourself. And say, I commit that once I am certain of the fact that this will work for me, and I believe in my reasons for doing it, I will go all in so that I can lose the weight, I can have more energy, I can be more confident, and I can do it in only 16 weeks. But before we go any farther, let's talk about what going all in means and what it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that you have to eat bland chicken, boring broccoli, and tasteless brown rice. Blech. You don't have to work out twice a day, seven days a week. No drinks on date night or cake allowed on your kid's birthday. Because let's be honest, nobody likes that, has the time for that, and our taste buds probably wouldn't want to hang out with us anymore. Look, if any of this so far sounds like you, then do yourself a favor and pay attention. Remove all distractions, silence your phone, unless of course you're watching from your phone then turn the volume all the way up because what I'm about to teach you will not only shred your body fat, but elevate you in all areas of your life to become the most elite version of yourself. Oh, and bonus, if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to hop on a one-to-one -one weight loss transformation session with me where we will identify your fitness goals and map out a game plan. If you've been here this long, you're probably starting to wonder who I am or why I'm doing this. So I'll save you the Google search and just tell you. Who am I? I'm Cliff, obviously. I was a skinny and scrawny kid in school, born at four pounds, underdeveloped, and I had to fight for my life. All I ever wanted was to be big and strong. I've spent the last 34 years building my body to where I wanted it to be. And in that time, I've helped thousands of busy professional parents just like you to lose tens of thousands of pounds. And I created the Fitness and Identity Mastery Blueprint, teaching what I learned over 30 years so that you don't have to wait that long. But there's a big reason why I started coaching in the first place. 
The reason why I work mainly with parents is because of my dad. His death was the reason why I'm in health and fitness. It was the catalyst for me going all in and changing as many lives, helping as many families as I can. He was my best friend and I'm named after him. So I think about him every time I hear my name. He played football in college and after he graduated, he was a special forces army ranger. Then when he got out of the military, he spent 30 years in the government. On top of that, he was also an entrepreneur. He had a photography business. The doctors always told him that he needed to lose 20 to 30 pounds because he had high blood pressure. He always told us that he would start eating better tomorrow and he would start working out on Monday. We all know that tomorrow is the mythical, magical place where nothing ever happens. So tomorrow never happened and Monday never came. He had a stroke in his brainstem where he was only 56 years old. The brainstem is where all of your involuntary bodily functions are regulated, your circulatory system, your respiratory system, among so many others. Having a stroke in that part of your brain is essentially a death sentence. The reason why he had a stroke was every time he went to the doctor's office, he thought he was in the healthy range because the blood pressure medication that he was on kept him in the normal healthy range. But the underlying condition was always there. So I want you to think of it this way. If you took a pen and you started hitting your wrist and you did it over and over and over for years and years and years, eventually this is gonna cause some pain. It's gonna start hurting. And then you're gonna start having some bruising. And then eventually you're gonna have some muscle damage followed up by some nerve damage. And if you continue doing this long enough, you might even have some really bad health issues and potentially have to amputate this after years and years and years. But if you take some sort of pain pill, then you're not gonna feel this anymore. But it hasn't stopped the underlying issue. The underlying issue is that you are hitting yourself with this pen. So that's causing the damage. So instead of my dad losing the weight and getting healthy, like he should have, he just kept taking the medication and not changing the underlying issue. And this is what caused him to have a stroke. My stepmother found him on the bathroom floor, face down, and we have no idea how long he was there. But he was rushed to the emergency room. And as soon as he got to the emergency room, they took him straight into the ICU ward. And by the time I got there to see him, he had a ventilator tube stuck in his mouth and he couldn't speak. He could hardly move. He couldn't even breathe on his own. We could see the fear in his eyes and he knew that it was the end. I watched my father scribble a DNR, a do not resuscitate order on a napkin because he didn't want to live the rest of his life attached to a machine to help him be able to breathe. The doctors, they told us that they were hopeful that he would get better and he would have a full recovery. But hindsight's always 20-20. And I now understand that this was their way of having bedside manner. They were trying to make us feel better. Then three days later, my phone rang and it was the middle of the night. It was 3.30 a.m. And if your phone has ever gone off in the middle of the night, nothing good ever happens then. It was my sister. She was calling to tell me that our father had a second catastrophic stroke and he died. He was only 56 years old when it happened. He had a lot of life left. My dad's death was a catalyst for why I've dedicated my life to health and fitness and keeping families together. At that point, I wanted to learn everything there is to know about the human body, health, nutrition, and weight loss. In my early 20s, I worked with a lot of people following the bro science and the over-marketed methods that we talked about earlier. And we simply didn't see the results we wanted leaving me unsatisfied with the impact I wanted to have. So I set out again to crack the weight loss code and filter out all the bullshit and develop a system that would work not just for the fit to get fitter, for the skinny kid to gain muscle, or the genetically gifted, but a blueprint for men and women of all shapes and sizes. And I've broken that blueprint down into three secrets to make it easy to implement and get results fast. Secret number one, fitness is just as much, if not more of a mental battle than it is a physical one. It's true, people will quit mentally thinking they are not good enough before their body will ever give out on them. Your thoughts create your beliefs. 
Your beliefs create your actions. Your actions create your habits, and your habits create your lifestyle. Everything starts and stops in your mind. If you believe that you can or if you believe that you can't, you're right both ways. Your mind will give up on you long before your body will. It's the negative self-talk, the stinking thinking that's holding you back from becoming the most elite version of yourself. This is the reason why you haven't been able to reach your health and fitness goals. Or if you did reach them and you lost the weight, you weren't able to keep it off and the numbers on the scale slowly started to creep back up. You didn't believe that it was truly possible for you to change long term. And until you change the way you think, there is no chance that you will ever be able to create and hold on to the body that you want. Simply going through the motions isn't going to be enough for you to have long lasting sustainable lifestyle change. You must change your identity and believe that you are a fit, strong and healthy man or woman. Let me tell you about Mary. She was the manager of the Orange Theory Fitness I worked at for five years. She was always doing Whole30 to try to lose weight and would keep gaining it back. She was on the weight loss roller coaster. She said she can remember looking in the mirror and not recognizing the girl looking back at her. She stepped on the scale and it was the highest it had ever been, 184 pounds and didn't know what to do. She had done Whole30 and tried to make good decisions only to spiral after 30 days of hard work. She asked me for help. She said she knew I could help teach her how to eat again. She was able to lose 38 pounds and 27 inches in our program. Now she helps teach other women how to have a healthy body based off of the things that I taught her. She's created a very successful business. Secret number two, 96% of your transformation happens outside of the gym. But most people, they only want to focus on that small 4% in the gym. There are 168 hours in a week. If you were to work out one hour a day for seven days, that equals 4% of your entire week. Most people think they haven't been able to get the body that they want because they haven't been working out and are being lazy. That all they need to do is go work out and their body will transform. This couldn't be further from the truth. The other 161 hours outside of the gym is where everyone drops the ball and fumbles their transformation. So you are not alone in this way of thinking. This is where we help you to score. Don't get me wrong, working out is important. I'm not telling you that it's not. But if you put all of your efforts into that small 4% and let the other 96% just pass you by, then you will never be able to reach your health and fitness goals. We teach you how to win the day, every day by creating positive habits, breaking the negative reoccurring patterns that are keeping your mind stuck and your body at a plateau. By working with us, you learn how to strengthen your mind. You learn how to sculpt your body. You create limitless energy. Your confidence then skyrockets. Let me tell you about my client, Kristen. She's a 54 year old mother of four and a grandmother of two. She is also an attorney who didn't think she had a lot of time because she's running a busy practice. She was working long hours and was going through some health issues. She has vertigo, so she wasn't able to do any strength training or exercising because she would get dizzy and lose her balance. But she was still able to completely change her body and her life after working with us for four months. By following our limitless blueprint, changing her diet and going for walks, she lost 48 pounds and 44 inches. Secret number three, there's a wrong way to work out and the way that most people do it won't result in the body that they want. Most people think they haven't been able to get the body that they've always wanted is because they think, I know what to do, but I'm just not doing it. Well, if you know what to do and you aren't doing it, whatever you don't change, you are choosing. So you are actually telling me that you are intentionally choosing to be overweight, out of shape, and unhappy. I don't think that's what you mean, is it? What I've seen over the 20 plus years of being a health coach and personal trainer is that what you know how to do, the way that you lost weight the last time was so complicated or was too strict that you can't get motivated to start again. And you end up never doing the things that you know you should do. 
You see, what's actually happening is your subconscious is fighting you and won't let you do the same super strict program that you hated doing before. So the truth is, you actually don't know what to do to get sustainable results. Also, the last time you were in shape was what, 5, 10, 20 years ago? The same things that you did back then are not gonna work for you today. Your body has changed, your priorities have changed, and you can't spend hours a day in the gym like you used to. I'm 45 years old myself, so I get it. You need to be able to compress time frames with a workout that is time effective and it fits your body, your lifestyle, your goals, and your needs. Let me tell you about my client, Rob. A little over a year ago, he was overweight, unhappy, and depressed. The way he had always worked out before was no longer working for him and he needed to make a change. Rob knew what to do, technically everybody does, eat less and move more, but he couldn't get motivated and stay on track. The change he made was reaching out to me for help. The key Rob told me for getting him absolutely shredded was his mindset. He started making himself a priority and he put his health and his wellness above all else. Then everything else also improved. I kept him motivated and in the gym where he belonged and held him accountable to my limitless blueprint. For anyone wondering if it's possible to completely change your physique in a year, I want you to know it absolutely is. Rob set a goal and he literally worked his ass off for it. And he got more than he could have ever imagined out of the program. So let's recap what we just talked about. Secret number one is about your mindset. Most people will give up on their fitness goals before their body will ever give out on them. Fitness is much more of a mental battle than is a physical one. Because if you've ever quit on yourself because you didn't feel like working out, that was your mindset, not your body. Change your thinking, change your life. Your thoughts lead to your beliefs, your beliefs lead to your actions, your actions lead to your habits, your habits create your lifestyle. Secret number two, you're focusing on all the wrong things. You're putting most of your time in that small 4% in the gym, when it's the other 96% outside of the gym is what is causing you to not understand why your body's not changing. All of these things that take place outside of the gym that you don't know about and you aren't doing because if you just don't know about it, then you don't know, click the link below and schedule a fitness transformation session and we can go over all of those on how to implement those into your life. And secret number three, if you're saying, I know what to do, but I'm just not doing it, you need support more than anyone else. You're in your own way. If you truly knew what to do, you'd already be in the shape that you wanted to be in and you would not be watching this video. So you above everyone else need to click the link below and schedule the call because if you don't stop lying to yourself, you're never gonna reach your fitness goals. So click the link below and learn exactly what works for your body, your lifestyle, your goals, and your needs. And all of this is important to you becoming the person that you want to be. Imagine being able to finally go shopping in your closet again to wear all the expensive clothes that you can no longer fit into. What about waking up with the energy to take on your day without drinking a gallon of coffee and crashing at 2 p.m.? Imagine looking in the mirror and being proud of the reflection looking back at you and not feeling like you have to edit all of your photos before you post them on social media? What about feeling socially accepted and respected or having the confidence to go out and date and be able to attract your dream partner or being able to engage in activities that you couldn't see yourself doing a few short months ago, like going for a hike? I want this all for you, so I've decided to open myself up and make myself available to hop on a transformation session and help you to start your fitness journey the right way, the sustainable way. But before we do, I wanna share one last story with you about Mark and Dwayne. I go to a lot of masterminds and networking events to meet other entrepreneurs. I met them both at the same time. Both had weight loss goals. Mark wanted to lose about 30 pounds and Dwayne said he had about 100 pounds to lose. Mark knew he wasn't operating at his highest level and his business wouldn't grow if he wasn't taking care of himself first. I showed him how putting his health first, he'd be able to create the discipline in his body and his mind that would spill over into every other aspect of his life. And he gave me his credit card on the spot. And four months later, he lost 42 pounds, 32 inches, and six of those inches came off of his waist. 
we exceeded his expectations. Not only has his business took off because we weaponized his body for success and it was no longer an anchor holding him back. Dwayne, on the other hand, he and I had the same talk and he thought the program was too expensive and he wanted to look for cheaper options, which he found. And when I saw him recently, he's still overweight, unhappy, and out of shape. And so has 80 pounds to lose. You get what you pay for. Just like Josh, who lost 34 pounds in a total of 27 inches, with five of them coming off of his waist. He's the owner and CEO of a government contracting firm. Josh was extremely sick from bacterial pneumonia from one of his many trips to the Caribbean, and he wanted to get healthy after he and his family thought he was gonna die. We helped him to change his mindset and stop making himself lavish unhealthy meals and drinking a bottle of wine a night. Josh changed his mindset and was able to regain his focus and concentration that allows him to get four times as much done in the same amount of time. He was able to change his body so much that he needed to have his entire wardrobe tailored because he was swimming in his clothes. Josh told me he learned that limits are meant to be pushed and pushed until you find out that they don't exist. Then there's DJ who lost 31 pounds and 26 inches and said Cliff Brooks is an outstanding coach and mentor and a fantastic teacher. He has helped me grow and excel in so many areas of my life. Physically, he has not only motivated me to be in excellent physical shape, but taught me how to understand nutrition and exercise and how it affects my body. Then there's Stacy, whose life unexpectedly changed during COVID. She lost her job and she couldn't do her workouts, which were her stress relief because her gym closed down. She felt lost. Stacy would equate her self-worth in her job and her physical fitness. Through Limitless, a whole new world was opened up to her. She found new ways to tap into her body, into her diet, and how she analyzes life. Limitless pushed her into a new phase of life where she has a new career in pediatric dentistry that is so extremely rewarding working with children. Most importantly, she's now financially secure. So let me ask you a question. If all this did was help you to lose 20 pounds, go down a few pant sizes and get rid of that stubborn belly fat, would it be worth a free call? Or let's just say it only leads you to having more energy or more confidence wouldn't it still be worth booking a call with me? And I guess the better question would be, if I could do for you what I've proven today to have done for so many others, what would stop us from making this happen for you? Remember that commitment that you made to yourself earlier. If you're tired of saying no to what works and yes to what hurts, and you're ready to go all in, then do yourself a favor and click the button below to take the first step in becoming the most elite version of you. And I'll see you on the call.